For the past four and a half months, Eric Winfield has been giving breathalyzer tests twice a day at the Helena 24-7 program. I like it. It keeps me on my toes. Um, I think it's very beneficial for people that uh, have drinking problems, uh, like for myself. He is one of about 90 people court-ordered to the alcohol sobriety program. The cost of the program is paid for by its participants. Most are required to blow twice a day. They have to pay $2 in the morning and $2 in the evening for a test. Yeah, that's, that's cheaper than a beer. 24-7 program coordinator Brock Harris conducts many of the tests and says most who come here want to be successful. However, there are those who blow hot. Um, they have a 20-minute deprivation time after the first positive test to test again. After that, we call a deputy and they are arrested. In the past year, Harris says violators have been few and far between. But when they do occur, then comes the excuses. It's usually cough syrup or mouthwash, toothpaste, those kinds of things. Um, if they can't make it, their alarm didn't go off, things like that. For those who are willing to spend a little more money and a little less time, they can get on a waiting list for alcohol monitoring bracelets known as a scram. It's comfortable for me. I just, you can't get it wet. You can't get it, you know, you can't get it submergent in water. You can take showers and stuff like that, and I work with it all the time. At a cost of $8 per day, these electronic devices are downloaded once a week. The bracelets measure alcohol transdermally. It can pick exact times, dates, and even amounts of any violations. Jackie Bennett says the program has dramatically changed her lifestyle. Um, it's a big expense, but like I said, in the long run, it's been well worth it. Um, it's been a long road, but I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. The 24-7 program can include alleged felony DUI offenders who need to maintain sobriety while awaiting sentencing. However, it is mostly for those who have second and third DUIs. Yeah, DUIs is the reason I'm in trouble. And uh, I, you know, I mean, yes, I, I agree with that. This is a program that teaches people a lesson. So far, it has about a 99% success rate. While the program still has equipment and overhead costs, it appears to be working. It will pay for itself. It's just not going to be right away. We've been at it about three years. And I tell you, there's a lot of success rate in this. A lot of people do really well in this program, and I think it does keep them from drinking. But according to the coroner, until attitudes change about drinking and driving, programs to deter such actions will only make a dent in the statistics. You know, well over one half of all traffic fatalities have involved alcohol and a detectable level that would be considered DUI. And until we have zero, uh, we will pr probably have this epidemic. While most DUI offenders on the 24-7 program didn't cause any deaths, it's the innocent victims of such tragic accidents that carry the legacy of the drivers who did. On special assignment in Helena, Melissa Anderson, MTN News.